Ladies and gents, I have an important announcement to make about Windows 7. And that is, starting from today, Windows 7 has entered extended support and it's been semi-retired. <laughs> Siri, what is my name? You're Sam. But since we're friends, I get to call you due to foreseen circumstances. That operating system has been semi-retired. Yep, that's true. Windows 7 enters extended support today until 2020. So all you'll get using Windows 7 now is security updates. And later on this year, Microsoft will be releasing its final form of Windows 10 which is due to be released late summer, early fall. And I've been testing Windows 10 on my boot camp, on my Mac, and my Novatech laptop, which is over there. And they're all running the latest release to build, build 9879, which is stable enough to run. And there's going to be a January technical preview sometime coming this month. And it's the signs for consumers. So, for those of you still running Windows 7, I would suggest you wait till later this year when Windows 10 will be released and your beds easily upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Avoid 8.1, please, as 8.1 is like. It's a little bit rubbish. You get the start, you only get the start screen boosting to desktop. But if you really want to try out Windows, then Windows 10 technical preview is here. And, uh, yeah, I should wait till the January technical preview before downloading it. But yeah, Windows 7 has been semi-retired and it will retire completely in 2020. So you've got five years left of support for security updates with Windows 7. So make the most of your last five years, people.